Okay, so what is the distance between these two points? And the points that we uh, have here is negative 10 and negative 3, and we want to know the distance between these two points. So it seems like a pretty uh, basic uh, problem, but I bet you a lot of uh, students out there could be a little confused about what the final answer is going to be. So what is the distance between these two points? If you know what the answer is, put that into the comment section and justify your answer with some additional information. Just don't put a, a number in. Say, you know, it's the distance is this because of that. I'd be interesting to see those comments and see how you back up your answer. But this is not that difficult of a problem, but it's definitely a very important uh, problem in terms of concept and uh, truly understanding what this word distance means. So we're gonna get into this problem here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, I've been teaching math for decades. I really like to think of myself as someone who explains math in a really clear and understandable way. So if you're struggling in um, middle school, high school, or even college level mathematics, I can definitely help you out. Um, now, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe the ASVAB, ACCUPLACE, or maybe a teacher certification exam, I could help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, definitely check out my homeschool math courses. Uh, I was just uh, recently voted, or my courses were recently voted number one for middle school and high school math by a major homeschool publication. Pretty, uh, very excited about that um, award. And if you need some math notes, I'm gonna leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, one of the secrets of doing well in math is taking excellent math notes. So make sure you do that and you'll see everything uh, get better for you. All right, let's get into this uh, question about distance. So we have negative uh, 10 on a number line and negative three, and we wanna know the distance between these two points. Okay, so how do we figure this out? Well. What we want to do is find the difference between these two points, right? So we're like, okay, well, if I want to find the distance, obviously I want to find um, this value right here, okay, between negative 10 and negative 3. And a lot of you are thinking to yourself, well, that looks to be like 7, right? So you're just doing basic math. You're probably thinking uh, 10 minus 3, that's a positive 7. And actually, if you're thinking in those terms, that's very, very good, okay? Because that's going to be our final answer, a positive 7. But let's dig deeper here, and uh, let's find the difference between negative 10 and negative 3. Okay, so what we would do is say, okay, negative 10 minus a minus 3. Okay, so negative 10 minus a minus 3 is going to be what? Well, it's negative 10 minus a minus 3, or... Um, the opposite of a negative 3 is going to be positive 3, so negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. Okay, so from here to here is negative 7, but we need to um, talk about this concept of distance, okay? So distance is a, uh, it's related to this concept of displacement, right? And anytime you were talking about distance or displacements, you're always talking about the positive or the absolute value of uh, that particular number. So we always measure distance in terms of a positive value. So what we need to do, we have negative seven here, is simply go ahead and take the absolute value of negative seven. Of course, absolute value of negative seven is a positive seven. So our distance is seven. And remember, I asked you in the beginning of this problem, you know, to answer the question, if you got the answer right, well, then I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for being so excellent in math. Matter of fact, let's throw in an A plus for today as well. So that's very, very good if you got the answer um, as being seven. But really what I was looking for is, hey, distance is always measured in um, positive units, displacement or distance positive units. So whatever you come up with in terms of uh, the difference between two numbers, make sure to take the absolute value of that. In this case, that is a positive seven. Okay, so this is just a quick review on the concept of displacement and distance, and hopefully this helps you out. 
again, you know, some of these simple problems like this don't seem, they don't seem too difficult on the surface, but you'll be surprised how many students out there actually get a little bit confused about this. And you don't want to do this, uh, you know, get confused about this because this is pretty basic algebra concepts, you know, like pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one type of concepts that you really uh, need to know. So hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even uh, subscribing to my channel. I've been on YouTube for uh, 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So please take advantage of my content if you like my teaching style, but my best math help will always be with my math, math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.